Hey everybody, it's Blue Waters. I've gotten a lot of questions and comments about my CO2 method. So I'm going to just give you a little uh, tutorial on that. Um, what I do is I went and got a 24 ounce CO2 tank. Uh, to buy them it's about 30 bucks, but to refill them I think it's about 4 or 5 bucks. Um, I did get this piece, the regulator, just this black piece. This is one piece and this brass piece is another piece. Um, you can get these at the um, hardware store, so I've heard. I couldn't find one, but I just found both pieces on eBay. Um, that is, a thousand is uh, full. So, and I've had this going for about two months. So I've hardly used anything. I run it very low because I leave it on at night too. So I just run it about half of what I'm supposed to run it. So what I do there, then I have, bring it on over, I do have the bubble counter. I would go with a glass one. Um, I busted one of these already, just from the pressure. And I've got it going down, and it's coming out of a little chopstick. I don't know if you know about the whole chopstick method. It's pretty cool. Um, just whittle a little piece of chopstick off, stuff it in there, clip the end off, and there are little holes so the air comes out, and it's... They're pretty nice little bubbles. So that's my method. It's super simple, um, super inexpensive. Do make sure you get the uh, the proper airline hose. This is for CO2. It's just a little bit thicker. It's not as bendy, but you can work it with it. So that's it. It's super simple, super cheap, and it's going to last me. That looks like it's going to last me probably for six months on four bucks. So there you go. Hope it helps you guys out. If you have any questions anymore, uh, just throw some at me. All right, have a good day.